Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting update in the world of mobile Linux. Today, we're diving into the latest release of Postmarket OS, version 23.12. After six months of hard work, the Postmarket OS team is breathing new life into smartphones, offering a second chance for your beloved devices. Let's explore the key features and updates that come with Postmarket OS 23.12. One of the standout features of this release is the expanded device support. Postmarket OS 23.12 officially supports an impressive 54 devices, up from the previous 31. Notable additions include Xiaomi Mi A1, Mi A2 Lite, and the ODR OID XU4 board. But that's not all. The release even extends its reach to Chromebook laptops, breaking free from the smartphone boundaries. Postmarket OS takes pride in its commitment to a unified environment. The release neatly packages device-specific components, allowing for identical builds across diverse devices. Users can choose from main user shells, such as KDE Plasma Mobile, Fosh, GNOME Mobile, and SXMO. And for those who crave even more customization, additional environments like Mate and XFC can be easily installed. The kernel and packages have been updated, with the Linux kernel now at version 6.6 .6, and the package database synchronized with Alpine Linux 3.19. GNOME Mobile receives an update, moving components to the GNOME Shell 45 branch. The Fosh environment, known for the Librem 5 smartphone, jumps to version 0.33, introducing exciting features like password visibility in input fields, screen lock mode control, advanced sound settings, and improved notification handling. KDE Plasma Mobile gets an upgrade to version 5.27.10, while the SXMO graphical shell adopts version 1.15, with added support for devices featuring electronic paper-based screens. Security takes center stage with Postmarket OS 23.12, featuring an interface for encrypted partitions using the UNL0KR on-screen keyboard. Network access via USB-C's optimization from RNDIS to NCM. Loop replaces Eye of GNOME as the default image viewer in FOSH and GNOME environments. The update process receives a boost with checks for boot partition size and addressing issues with mirrors lacking the Alpine directory in their URL. This ensures an enhanced and reliable update experience. Exciting additions include the option for swap partition compression using ZRAM technology, activated through the RC update add ZRAM init default command with plans for future releases to enable ZRAM automatically. In summary, Postmarket OS 23.12 is a significant milestone in the evolution of Linux on mobile devices. With increased device support, refined user interfaces, and robust security measures, this release opens up new possibilities. Whether you're repurposing old phones, experimenting with different Linux flavors, or seeking a secure, privacy-conscious mobile experience, Postmarket OS 23.12 has you covered. Head over to the Postmarket OS website to find compatible devices, download installation images, and join the vibrant community. If you're new to Postmarket OS, check out the installation guide on the website. For existing installations, don't forget to consult the upgrade guide to ensure a smooth transition to the latest release. As Postmarket OS continues to push boundaries, we can look forward to even more customization options and enhanced stability in future releases. The possibilities are endless. Repurpose, experiment, and enjoy a secure, privacy-conscious mobile experience with Postmarket OS. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, happy exploring.